Michael, you've managed to complete your first signing here at Stoke City and Jordan Thompson. You must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, we are. You know, it's important to bring players to the club and to bring players, the right type of player to the club and obviously a player that I know well, um, a young player with a lot of potential. Um, I believe he's, he's got the attributes to, to add to the team, um, has the ability to play certainly at championship level and above. Um, and it's good to be able to give him the opportunity. As you mentioned, you clearly know him well from your Northern Ireland connections. What sort of qualities will he bring? Well, he's a very talented left-footed player. Um, I think in the last 18 months in particular, he's added a lot to his game on the defensive side of his game. He's got a bit of bite as well. But what Jordan adds is a real bit of quality. You know, He's a good passer of the ball. He's got a knife for a goal. He's got good de um, delivery from set plays as well. So, um, as I say, he's been very impressive since he stepped up from under-21 to senior international level. He's far from the finished article, but equally, I think he'll be a very valuable addition to the squad. You mentioned before that you want to look for players in that 21 to 25-year-old mm -hmm. age bracket, and he certainly fits that bill. Yeah, that's right. And he's come through, you know, a few challenges in his career. Obviously, he started at Manchester United, and then he was at Rangers. Um, had a couple of loan spells at lower level clubs in Scotland and did well and then obviously has established himself at Blackpool. So yeah, I think it's important we bring players um, to the club that see this as a real opportunity and a real step up in their career coming to a club like Stoke, the size of the club um, and obviously the, the opportunity to play the championship and, and uh, progress with the club as well. So and, th and from that side of things, Jordan certainly ticks all those boxes. There's a couple of weeks left of the transfer window. Can we expect any more ins and outs in that time? Yeah, well, we would like to think that we can maybe add to the squad. Um, you know, the players who have gone out have given us more manageable numbers to work with, which I think is important. I don't think, in terms of what we're doing on a daily basis, the quality has been very good. It's been easier working with a smaller group of players. And um, so if the right player comes along, uh, we'll, we'll certainly be in the market to try and get him. Unfortunately, one of the two that we have tried for, we, we've not been able to get. Possibly our league position has affected us a little bit in terms of where uh, players select, where they go. But it's a difficult window because you're pretty much looking at loan deals or you're looking at possibly bringing players, as we've brought Jordan from, from, from a League One club, or you're looking at players who are um, ultimately not in their team teams. So whether in the, in the back end of the window there may be a little bit of a horse trading and swap deals going on, we, we'll just have to look. But as I say, we're not um, going to just sign players for the sake of signing players and, and adding to our numbers because obviously we've worked hard to get the numbers down. In terms of Jordan, is he someone that could come in contention for the game at West Bromwich Albion? Yeah, I think he's certainly one that will push to be in the squad. I think when you look at what we have in midfield, you know, with Joe Allen, Sam Klukas, Nick Powell, Jordan Cousins, Ryan Woods, there's a lot of competition there. But uh, Jordan's one, I think, that can certainly, he, whilst maybe Monday will be a little bit early for him, he, he, he we're bringing him in with the intention of you know, push those players hard to, to be a starting player.